Destruction All-Stars would have definitely been on my skip list for the foreseeable future. But with the launch of it for free on PlayStation Plus, I figured let's give it a whirl. And boy, was it a whirl. Developed by Lucid Games, the guys who brought you Need for Speed Payback comes this arena style demolition derby. So how is it? First, let's talk about what it is. Destruction All-Stars is a demolition acid trip that has moments of fun and lots of moments of why. All the gameplay stems from the concept of how can we use chaos while trying to stand out? In a lot of ways, the game does that, but not in the ways I believe it was intended. There is a wide variety of characters, 16 of them in fact. Although they all look unique and have an intriguing style, none of them seem to be ideal for any situation. The characters are all cool looking, and if there is one that you like for an appearance or a unique car, go for it. You don't have to feel attached to any one character or ability, which does keep the roster balanced, especially when the game makes everyone select a one of 16 character. There are four game modes to play for a competitive feel. Two are a free for all mode, and two are a party mode of eight versus eight, which you can do with your own party or matchmake if you just want the competition without anyone in particular to play with. There is an arcade mode that you can just play on flying if you want. But if this is the only game mode you're gonna play, you will start to see the shallowness of this game way faster than playing it online or with friends. The biggest plus to this game is it's free right now and will be available for free for the next two months. If you have a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation Plus membership, you should definitely claim it. If you miss out on it while it's free, I highly recommend not getting it. This game should be a free to play game. Destruction All Stars is a shallow experience mixed with shallow gameplay and shallow customization. If you are looking for some mindless gameplay that you can do with your friends for a couple of hours here and there, this game is perfect. If you were hoping for a spiritual successor to Twisted Metal, you will be highly disappointed. Destruction All Stars isn't a bad game, just needs some more time to better envision its true purpose. Luckily, Lucid Games says they are planning on more content for the next year. Sadly, I think this game might not make it to next year. But these are just my thoughts on the game. What are your guys' thoughts? Are you playing it and loving it? Are you wanting more? Please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. That's a breaker ready to go for Xander. Hey, no need to be gentle to on-foot opponents. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I know this was kind of a quick first impressions. I will be doing a full review of this game. I don't think my opinions will change much, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. So if you guys want to see that video or any of my other future content, think about giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, turning on those notifications so you know when the next video comes out. I do a new video here on YouTube at least once a week, so that video should be here in the next little bit at least. I also do a lot of my gameplay on stream, so if you guys ever wanted to join me there, I do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. You guys are more than welcome to hang out with me there, see what I'm playing, or even ask me questions about my videos there. I do not mind at all. I love these discussions. Until next time, guys, let's just play.